Welcome back to Will Soda Productions, and today I bring you a new movie review that I, of a film I just went, went and re recently watched tonight. Um, it's a film that's still fresh in my head, so I wanted to get this review out quickly. So, I finally get to review War for the Planet of the Apes, a film that I have been anticipating watching the last two films to come, come before this film, and I critiqued those films, and you can go check them out if you want. So... War for the Planet of the Apes was also directed by Matt Reeves and again it stars Andy Serkis as Caesar, Woody Harrelson as the Colonel, Steve Zahn as the Bad Ape, Karen Kernaval as um, Maurice the big orangutan ape and Amia Miller as Nova the little girl in the film. So this film um, takes place um, are, are the events after Dawn of the the Planet of the Apes and um, you find that the apes are having to be more hidden now from the humans because the humans are now after them and are trying to attack them and the humans are trying to somewhat get rid of the apes because they're a big threat to them. Caesar then um, is still on this like um, mission to try and prove that he is being merciful, he does not want to hurt any of the humans, he just wants the humans to be, um, leave the apes alone and and they can live in their world, own world in peace, but unfortunately um, Woody Harrelson's character sees it differently and wants to try and find the apes' um, secret hiding spot and find Caesar and take him out. This leads to Caesar um, rethinking his situation where they are living to possibly move out and try and relocate to a different re relocation found by his son. So, War for the Planet of the Apes, did it do its justice? Did it um, exceed expectations? Was it a good film? Was it a bad film? Now, it was a good film. In my opinion, um, seeing a movie being shot, this was one of the best I've ever seen in cinematography. Sorry. Um, it just looked beautiful. The motion capture is also very good by Andy Serkis and the others that were in that motion capture as being um, captured as gorillas and um, monkeys and all that. The motion capture is beautifully well done and you can just see how possibly real it looks in each of the characters. It looks so goddamn real. Um, you couldn't tell that they were um, CGI sometimes. but. Um, nonetheless, um, yeah, they were motion captured and they were CGI. The story is really filled with a brilliant sense of um, helplessness for the apes because they are just trying their hardest to be left alone, but they continually battle for the humans. And then eventually, just it, Caesar cannot take any more. He just gets fed up with these humans. And then he just, one thing happens in the film that just makes his character just snap. And then he's just instantly turns into Cobra from the last film and wants to just go on this murderous rampage and kill the colonel. I'll just leave that little tidbit there for you guys just because, you know, you got to know a little bit about what his motivation is in this film, Caesar. The film itself is very good at um, showing the different characters. Maurice trying to be the, um, you know, the, the, the peacekeeper. He's like, no, this is not who we are. You're not who that guy is. You know, you're not supposed to want to go out and murder these humans. He goes, we, we, let's just leave this. Let's just go back with the others and let's just go relocate. But Caesar just won't have a bar of it. The human actors are also very well done this time as well. I found they had a bigger involvement this time around. Woody Harrelson's character especially becomes the one of the more disliked characters in the film. And you just don't feel that his motivations are just solid. The film leads you to believe that he is fighting to get rid of the apes because of the simian flu that he is blaming the apes for creating and he just believes that you know that the humans are becoming the apes and the apes are kind of becoming the humans I guess and he just wants to get rid of them and just you know become the new species I guess of humans that the last humans and he's worried about extinction possibly for the humans. The film does an excellent job in portraying his character at times. Although I thought he was going to be much more of a brutal leader, 
I felt like in some cases, in some scenes, you believe it, this guy is ruthless. He will instantly just snap and just make you want to listen to him and and do what he asks, because otherwise he's just going to just go on a murdering rampage. Other human characters, you may not really get grasp the performance. However, the 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 little girl that played Nova, I liked her performance. She didn't say anything, but I loved her body language and I loved her emotions. They just felt human to me and like, you know, and just it was a good performance I felt like, you know, it was a, a good enough performance for what it was supposed to be. Okay, some negatives. Just some a couple of ones. I was ex exceeding expectations this was going to be an all-out war for film. That it was going to be apes versus humans. It's not, but it is. It is, but it isn't, if that makes sense. So, you will get you what you want in the title of the film, but don't expect that to be the whole entire film. Just going to say that, just in case you guys are expecting it to be an all-out war film. It is, but it kind of isn't as well. You got to, if you make, it makes sense, all right? Like, look, it's not an all-out, like, you know, Lord of the Rings, orcs versus um, elves in human and knights and whatever. It's just, uh, you know apes in a situation they don't want to be in and they're just having to defend themselves. The bad ape can um, sometimes f be a bit um, tiresome, but you, you like his character ultimately. Um, he's funny enough, but at times I felt like it was a bit silly that he was trying to wear a vest. If you see the film, you, you, you'll get what I mean. It just looks a bit silly that he had it on the whole time and all the he just stands out all the time. It just I don't know, he just seemed weird. This is my personal thing. I had not taken it any score away from the film. Um, he was he portrayed his character well enough that it was good character. But nonetheless, this film is an excellent film in my opinion. I enjoyed this film of War for the Planet of the Apes. I feel like this was a good enough film. It was a lot of good dialogue shared. And it were great moments shared between the apes and the humans. And there were just some good scenes. You just, you just ultimately feel these characters' motivations. It was a great story told. In my opinion, I think it was a really good film. Um, do I feel like it's perfect? No film's really perfect, but but however, some get close to being perfect. And this is not too far from it, but it still is a, a flawed film with some um, flaws, but I still feel like this film is a good enough film. So, my score for War for the Planet of the Apes is an 8.5 out of 10. I was going to give it a 9, but... Just a few things that just I felt like could have been stronger. Um, I gave it a, a, a half score off. But that's about it. An 8.5 out of 10. That's still pretty damn good. So if you like ape films and monkey films and fighting and war, this film may be for you. Alright? So go check it out in your local cinema. Thank you again for tuning into Wilso Reviews and Wilso Productions. I hope you enjoy this review. If you did, hit a like on the video. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. There is always room, more room for the Wilson production squad. So hop on board if you want to support me. Um, if you want, comment out something about the film, whether you've seen it or not. Um, just leave spoilers out. Um, stay tuned for more great content coming this week. I've got Arrow Season 1 review coming up soon. I'm working on that, so bear with me on that. Um, and I will see you soon, guys. Thank you again. Bye.